Welcome to Social Cooking tonight, guys. We're doing a Master Chef Challenge. It's a team building event. We're looking for the hottest cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to unveil the ingredients now. You guys, you've now got two minutes to grab the ingredients that you want, and then you've got 51 minutes to cook. Go for it! So social cooking is about team building, it's about getting people together who different groups that haven't met. And when you put them in a kitchen, it's quite amazing what will happen to them. Tonight we are doing a chorizo and mushroom ravioli uh, with a, uh, a spinach side salad and a red wine jus. People come in from all walks of life. We have corporates, we have hens parties, mums and dads, date nights. So it's right across the spectrum. So it's going to be just a chicken dish, really, with a base, but hopefully much it's more than that. not just a chicken dish. Though, Never just a chicken dish, no. I see people come in here and they learn some stuff, they hang out with their partners or workmates, grow the corporate culture and have a really good night out. And when you add in a drink or two, I tell you what, it's absolutely stunning. It just creates magic. It's a very fine line between crunchy cooked and overcooked. So we did a couple of test runs before. <laughs> hey guys, you've got 38 minutes to go. Let's see what you've got. 38 minutes. <laughs> it's uh, fake it till you make it time. <laughs> it's good, it's good. It's uh, completely overcooked and it's just how we like it. The nerves have worn off. These guys are kicking ass. They're cooking paellas, risottos, really stretching their cooking styles. The problem is that our pasta is a little bit too soft. See, I still um, don't like that. <laughs> the pressure is on. I know most of you are nearly finished, but I want to see a great result here. Come on, let's go. Three minutes to go. Yep. Sharp, sweet, sour, everything. So it's all about looks now. We can't so, get the uh, smear right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think putting, putting, the, putting the best looking ones on the judges' table is always a, is always a good ploy. Okay, it's all over. Everyone relax. Step away from your battle stations. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. A round of applause. Okay, right now we're going to get in and we're going to judge these. And we're going to get back to you with how you went. I'd come here because it's not a bar or a restaurant. It's somewhere that you can still have a glass of wine, but you're learning some new skills, you're meeting some new people. The food is fantastic. Premium ingredients, which I like. I plan lots of events, um, and there's lots of options out there. Um, but we choose social cooking because they're a safe pair of hands. I don't really know how to cook very well. Um, so it was quite cool, actually, to get in the kitchen and cook a dish and cook something that I enjoy. Why go to a restaurant, you know, when you can come here and cook for yourself, have some fun, meet really cool people? Drum roll for first place. Let's see it. In first place, we have the Stannards. <laughs> Social cooking is about a wonderful team experience. We're in Auckland and Wellington, and we know that you've got lots and lots of team opportunities for bowling and restaurants and things like that. But if you bring your team along to social cooking, we'll put on a stunning event that will make you proud. Yeah.